Hey, what's going on? First day of school. Kids just went. We already picked them up to come back. And they had an excellent time. Now, my name is Klaus. I'm the founder of Become a Fearless Father. And I am here to help all you dapreneurs realize a life where you can have it all. So let's talk about today, right? First day of school. And I can't... I was excited. I think I was more excited than the kids for the kids to come back to school, to be honest, right? Here in Spain, they have a ridiculous amount of time of summer holidays, 10 weeks in total. And where two years ago, we were, I was, I, me personally, I was really struggling with it. Um, it was just hard, right? I wasn't in the best of spaces that I wanted to be. And business wasn't working all that well as I was expecting by that time. And of course, I want to continue working a lot on the business. But at the same time, I had the kids there 24-7. It just didn't work out that well, which means, you know, the usual. You want to try and work. Your kids want something. You yell. You argue. They cry. You cry. It's just a big mess, right? So this year, it went a lot better. Why? I prepared better. I planned better. I knew, okay, they're here. So the focus is them and I'm going to try and work my business around it, right? We just picked them up. They're home now. They want to play. So they play a little bit. I get the opportunity to go live. Meaning I can't be as consistent as I want to be as in like exactly 2.30 to go live, right? Now it's three. Maybe next time it's going to be one or I don't know, maybe five or six or seven when my wife is home again from work. So whatever that is, right? So we got to be flexible is one of the things. Patience is a big thing. So it's very important to continuously work on yourself so you fill up your cup and so you come from a good place, right? So all this summer, I just woke up early, made sure I got two hours in before they got up. Sometimes I got lucky. It was even three hours or four even when they were really tired and sleeping in late, which was good for me. But then, and that was the, the little... Not struggle, but a little different, of course, this morning. Now we had to get back into the rhythm. So we dropped, we, we put them to bed at the regular time that we would when they usually go to school. So in the morning, they were still sleepy, of course, because they were tired of the whole summer vacation and the whole cra all the crazy stuff that we did. However, they weren't feeling grumpy when we woke them up, right? I had to wake them up. So I woke them up at 7.30 and we had our breakfast and they took their showers and of course, you know, you notice they have to get a little bit into the rhythm. However, because we had structure before, it's easier now to put them back in that structure and get going again. Now, we were smart this time that uh, my wife actually took a couple of days holiday. So she's here three days to walk with the kids to school. So we're all going to school as a family and dropping them off, making sure they are excited and happy when they go. Right. Because it's not just for me. That it's important that I shine. It's important that if I shine, my kids shine and that reverberates throughout, you know, the other kids and the teacher and then them going home, et cetera, et cetera. Right. So all I want to say is that make sure that you fill up your cup. The more and more I hear others talk about it, the more and more I'm working on it myself, the more and more I see that that is key, key factor, fill up your cup. Make sure you feel energetic, that you feel happy, that you shine, that you just feel fantastic, right? You look fantastic. You feel fantastic. Inner, outer has to be great, meaning, you know, you got to remember, you got to really focus on what you're putting in your body. For example, you got to really focus on what kind of workouts do you do during the day? What do you feed your mind on a daily level, right? And all that reverberates then. And, and makes you shine then throughout the whole day, which affects your kids. Meaning that I'm excited. I'm happy. Yes, I was a little extra happy. Of course, they got to go to school. It gave me a little bit more time to, well, today to my coaching calls, a little bit more calm, right? Instead of getting interrupted. Interrupted is fine. However, it's just nicer to have to not have the interruptions, right? So that's my tip for the day. Do you know what fills up your cup? And are you doing it? And if you are, then great. Keep doing more of it. If you're not and you can't figure out what your cup is, then make sure you, you know, reach out to me. Let us try to figure it out together. 
think within a 15 minute call, we're going to figure it out. We can build up a strategy where without taking up too much of your time, it will help you to fill up your cup and make sure that you are ready to shine and, and give it your all in the world without losing everything that's in your cup. Make sense? All right. Again, reach out to me if you need some help filling your own cup to let it pour over so you got lots to give to your family, to your friends, to your surroundings, your community, et cetera, et cetera. Have an amazing day. I will talk to everyone pretty soon. Take care. Bye.